Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh. oh, I'm feeling nice today. I am feeling nice. Huh. You know what I do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna beat levels. And it's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, let me get the chat open. Alex is already here. Hello, Alex. Hello, Cooper. Too. Cooper, I'm... Right now, I was in a call with Stu Ueto, and he said he had to go eat dinner. And, like, I don't want to just leave him without telling that, hey, I'm go... Like, that would be scummy. I can't just be like, hey, I'm going to talk in the mobile squad. Like, he, he expects me to be back here, you know? Turn that down. So I would be in the call with you lovely people, but you know. I'm gonna call with the other boy, which is just one person right now. Oh, that was perfect. That was not perfect. What? I never died there. Never died there? What do you mean? Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys something, uh... On this jazz. <laughs> what is this? What did I- How did I do this? So what you're supposed to do here is you go up, down, this way, and then you hit that, and go that way. But... I somehow managed to get that close to that slope, and then miss that blue portal, then go down into the blue portal. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but that's the fourth time I've done it now. That's the fourth time. I don't know how I keep doing that. Also this. <laughs> that's a good one. What incarnation? Exactly. Oh, hello, sorry. Or Suri, I win. Is it still two O's? No. You changed it to one O. Alright. Yeah, uh, that was a weird one. This level's like. not boring. But I, maybe it would be boring to watch or something if you don't get far consistently. I mean, it's a good level though. It looks really nice, so that's cool. And I can run it on full detail, you know. While streaming. The first part's so easy compared to everything else though. This part's also really easy. Except that. Sometimes I die there because I go up too early. I 
I don't know why, like, that wasn't looked at, but you can avoid it pretty easily. Just enter that low like that. This part's like the first hard part. That transition sucks because you can't hit that black orb right away at the drop in that first portal. Or else you die. So you actually have to time it. It's like a blind timing. I wish it was easier <laughs> because that timing kind of determines how you're going to enter the entire next UFO. But it's really not too hard. There's another one of those, kinda, at like 78, so I hope I don't die there. You can hit that that early. There we go. You gotta hit that in the middle. Also, that wave is hard. A lot of the waves in this level are hard. What? Do the crazen and fix the entire level. What do you mean, fix the entire level? Like, deleting it? Or nerf the entire level so it's auto? And just say, hey guys, it was a bug fix. It was just a bug fix, don't worry. I don't know what you mean by do the crazen. Maybe there was something, uh funny that he did that I don't know about. I don't really follow those people. I feel like unless they're entertaining like Napesta or whatever, which makes really good content, I'm gonna be real. Freaking skilled GD players that just upload replays are just there to make you feel bad. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like I've seen so many comments on, like, demons I've taken thousands of attempts on, just to see a 240Hz player be like, GG, 600 attempts, and it's on, like, an extreme demon. I did it again, what the heck? And it just gets me super demotivated. How'd that happen? How'd that happen? I did the thing where I went under the blue portal again, and then, I, for some reason, that orb didn't work there. That's a pink orb. I'm not supposed to go three blocks up into the ceiling. The thing is, that part that I died at isn't really hard at all. I usually pass that part when I get to it. Like, sure, it's got a few, uh, tricky bits. But it's not really hard compared to, a uh, Jacob Nuggets part, which is the part at the drop. Or the part after it. The part after it is so hard, dude. That's something that just intimidates me about this level. This level's hard. And it's not like only a few parts are hard. It is consistently very hard. For an entire four and a half minutes. It's longer and much harder than Glacial Torrent, so this is going to be a very daunting task for me, I guess. I'm consistent, though. Yet I died there. You So you can't hit those immediately?
Where this place on the mobile list? Definitely top 10. I don't know too much about it, the placement since I haven't beaten anything like in the top 30 even, which is kind of embarrassing for me. But uh, yeah, this would place in the top 10 according to Budgie, Cooper, and Badel, who have all beaten Kadrega mode, which is currently 11. Uh, and Budgie says it's harder than Void Wave, which is 10. Badel says it's harder than Belloc, which is like 6. Or 7, I don't know. So if that's true, I don't know if that is, that could be a stretch. But if that's true, this could be like number 6. I, in, in the highest possible case, if Beta was right about that. Also, Cooper, stop flexing on me. I've only gotten to the 50s twice. <laughs> I'm having a... I don't know what I'm having a lot of trouble with. I'm really consistent. I just die in stupid spots. Sorry if I can't keep up with the chat. There's no, like, break times in this level. Oh, hey, still, you got him. By the way, I'm streaming right now. Uh. Oh, I hate that. That part's hard. Wait, I gotta adjust your voice. Hold on. There we go. You are now not incredibly quiet or something. <laughs> yeah, Coop Cooper just got 55 again on this level, so wow. my chances aren't see seeing very... Be the the you know what I mean. I understand that perfectly. Uh-huh. I've still only gotten to the 50s twice. I think he's gotten to the 50s like 10 times now. He's played the level a bit more than me, but I can't really get far that often. I got a tag in TSC to vote for a member to see if they should be in or not. Dang it. Whatever. Yeah, Cooper, 31 is kind of just hard, though. It's a really weird black orb thing where you have to, like, hold very slightly after you hit the gravity portal. Yeah, you're in a ship, and you have to hit a black orb into a gravity portal into a straight fly of sorts. But if you tap the black orb, like, really, really fast, you don't go up high enough. So you need to still keep holding just a tiny bit longer than a 
than you think. Yeah, Stu, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but you should kind of play this in Tomb. This is quite fun. I'm probably not going to do that, but you never know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't really beat many four and a half minute long levels. Yeah, what's the longest, like, extreme you've done? Oh yeah, that's like three and a half minutes. Yeah. I think it's close to four. It's not four exactly, but it's longer than three and a half. I wanted to go for idols, but that stupid swing copter in the later half was killing me. Yeah, this Entombed is like, four and a half minutes, but the end screen takes up a fat 25 seconds. Wow. Yeah, the level ends at 88. Yeah. That, that is kinda early. My chat freeze again? No, it didn't. Just, it's just nobody's talking. No! God dang it, that's one copter is so hard. Slinky level sequel. What? What does slinky level sequel mean? Oh the god the oh, the the player slinky. Yeah. I mean Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm just playing this level because it's good. 
yeah, it is the Unearthed sequel. Unearthed was also pretty good. But there's like five levels that are the slinky level. I don't know why Unearth would be the one. Uh, I hate that part. Honestly, I really don't care if a level's long or not. I'm just playing it because it's good. If it's a long level, I'll deal with that. I'm pretty good at long levels, too. How'd I die there? Come on, man. Because... I think, uh... Well... For like long extremes, I've beaten Glacial Torrent, Unearthed, Essentia, and I guess Destruction of God counts. Even though that level is like really not extreme. But yeah. And Dark Travel is basically extreme, even. It is very hard. I don't know why. I have my fair share of experience. I'm getting really consistent. And I die there twice in a row. <laughs> That's like the easiest jump in the park. Satisfying. That black orb is not that hard. Wish peoples made the GP, GP of Disentombed. What do you mean, who made the gameplay of Disentombed? Oh, sorry, the GP of Disentombed. Uh, everybody that decorated a part made their own gameplay for the part. 
That's so, like, unheard of these days, and I don't know why. People making their own gameplay and decoration for a part. And not only deco or only gameplay. I don't know why that's, like, not a thing anymore, but I, it isn't. Oh, I didn't hit that orb? What? Honestly, I think I really like collabs where people make the gameplay and deco for their parts. It just looks better because the creator when they make their layout part, they, like, make it in consideration to what they already know their decoration is going to look like. What, people making gameplay and deco? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Toasted's part. Or parts. With an S. Because he had like four. Actually thinking about it, I have a uh, two parts that I made a layout for for Mega Collab that I also need to decorate myself. Granted, I probably should not have also said I wanted to decorate them because they may never be finished. But I've got like some progress. Now he's asking me about TSC people. Uh, which TSC member do you look up to the most? None? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind of question it is. Like, okay, granted, I'm in the team, but I don't know half the people in the team with me. <laughs> like, for a gameplay creator man, I'm surprisingly out of touch with everything going on in the gameplay community or whatever. I don't really, I'm not subscribed to anybody that makes gameplay outside of like people in my friend groups. So I don't know any of their styles or anything. I don't really look up to, up to anybody, I just make what I want to make. I don't draw inspiration from anybody either, really. Oh, now I died at 31. There you go, Cooper. I've been inching forward very slowly, though. I got 23, 24, 25, 26. 28, 29, 30, and 31. Oh boy. Just keep going up by 1% every attempt. 
I mean, hey, if I do that all in one sitting, it might take me a while to actually beat the level, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Even though the end screen is at 88, I die at 89, 90, 91. <laughs> And I don't know why you're asking these questions, but they're good discussion topics, so I will answer them to the best of my ability. Do you identify more as a player or a creator? I really have no idea, man. I don't know. That is too deep of a question for 10.30 p.m. <laughs> nah, but uh, I really don't know. I guess I would say more of a player, because I'm more active in that community, especially the, mo especially the mobile community. Yeah, yeah because... I said definitely more Yeah, I mean, of my recent videos, not many of them at all have been like mega collab parts or anything. I've been grinding extremes recently, but yeah, just in general too. I think my skill at playing the game greatly outweighs my skill as a creator overall, if you take into account my horrendous decoration attempts. It, it, my decoration isn't really that bad, but it's my playing skill is far superior to my average decoration uh yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna say that plus I don't really talk to a lot of other gameplay creator guys they're just ge they're generally yeah, never mind never mind <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Yeah, there are a lot of questions now. I, I guess everybody's asking me questions. What are your favorite game modes? Uh, I would say Cuban Robot. Everybody hates the robot. I don't know why. I think the robot's awesome. Awesome. Stewie Weto, what are your favorite game modes? Dang. I mean, yeah, I don't heavily dislike any of the game modes in the game, because they can all be used really badly or really good. I guess the one I, the ones I have the worst experience overall with in levels are ship and wave, but that's just because I'm bad at ship and wave. So I guess if my, I had to say my least favorite, I would say ship and wave just because of that minor detail. But other than that, I don't really have any favorite. Oh my lord, Cooper. Your favorite game modes to build with are cube, ball, spider, and UFO. Isn't that like more than half the game modes? Robot, ship, and wave. Yeah, that, that is. <laughs> I am bad at ship and wave, I say, as I am playing a level which hard parts are made up of all ships and waves. Yeah. That's a... I got nothing to say on that one. I mean, the level's fun enough. But yeah, 
there are some stupid hard ships in this level. Especially that wave, that wave sucks. That wave's hard. There's a bunch of little wave sections in this level that get me every time. And then... I don't, I don't even think I need to talk about that giant 10 second long slow mini ship section in the middle of the level. remembering this again, but I remember somebody pointed it out, like, months ago. Your spacebar sounds like you're clicking a pen. We, we had, like, a whole discussion on it when you, like, didn't get a new mic, but all of us thought you had a new mic, because your spacebar went from, like, sounding more like a click to just yeah. sounding like you were fiddling with a pen. That was a while ago. That was when people actually joined the call. Whoa. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, hello, Vo oh, Volts, GD, of course you have GD in your name, We're aren't you that guy from, a uh, Instagram, GD Instagram, the, the Geometry Dash Instagram community is the funniest place sometimes, people get so mad over nothing. I remember I saw a post by a guy who just, like, took a picture of the, like, a level that had a lot of views because it had XO unofficial sequel in the title or something. And it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad level at all, but he was like, just stop, stop, oh, oh I'm gonna throw a tantrum, because somebody can't have fun with their level and call it an unofficial XO sequel. It's, it's funny. Plus, I'm pretty sure everybody on there is, like, 13 or under. Like, disregard the 13 or over rule to make an account. It's, like, limited to 13-year-olds and below on there. Oh yeah, Budgie, I'm going to get to, uh, soon. Don't worry. I can feel it. Also, hello, Hyper Blitz. There was a, there was a speck of dust on my screen, and I wanted to get it off. And I tried to get it off, but I was in a ship section, and I kind of immediately died. Yeah, I've only gotten to uh, the 30s twice now. If I keep playing for a little longer, I have no doubt that I'll get to a the slow part soon, which is where things start to take a break. Today is the 4T and then 5 question marks. What? 
What do you mean today is the 4T? What do you mean I'm killing it with the 14% wave? I just died to the 14% wave. <laughs> I feel like you thought I was going to pass the 14% wave that attempt. So, but your, your plan has backfired. I actually died there. Today is the 4th of July. Oh, yeah, today is the 4th of July, Hyper. Yeah, still you had over context. The description of all my streams has been happy 4th of July since the one stream I did early in the morning on 4th of July. And I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. Now to think of it, I don't think I've ever had stream rules in my description. Actually, wait, like two years ago, I remember I, uh, my stream rules were like, no spamming, and, uh, no Japan. <laughs> just, yeah, just no Japan. That was it. Those were the two rules. And lo and behold, somebody, uh, came in my stream like two years ago. And they were like, a hardcore weeb, you could tell. The name, the profile picture, and the first thing they said had like, uwu in it. <laughs> and, and I don't know who it was, because me and all the other mods that were in the chat at the time, just like, we timed them out for like, must have been hours. Because you can time people out more than once. It was like the yeah. only thing you could see in the chat was blank, like this person has been timed out for 300 seconds. We, we went we went on that for like two whole minutes and then we're like, all right, threat is gone. I'm gonna continue streaming now. How do I keep dying there? Do I just not tap early enough? Yeah, Cooper is literally in the chat only to flex on me. And yes, Budgie, I did both of my clan war attacks. <laughs> you know, this level reminds me of a Reminds me of my one friend's comment on my Essentia video. He he commented, imagine going through an entire minute of a level only to be at 28%. That's, yeah. that's pretty much the case with this level too. Like, a minute and a half is usually when it ends. But a minute and a half through this level, you're at like 
No, I keep dying there. Also, you just got randomly allowed again. Hold on. I don't even know, man. Gun spikes are well placed there. Yeah. Yeah, the last 30 seconds of this level is the end screen. I think the end screen is actually like 25 seconds long. It's crazy. You round it up to 30, all right. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? I'm probably dying at that place because there's a friggin' bush there. There is a bush there. I hate the bush. Do you know what I mean when I say the bush? It's a, it's like the ground spikes where it's a jagged or whatever, except there's stuff coming out of it. Yeah, it's like used in a jungle theme or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, like the thorn ground spikes with a, like with the decoration on there. Uh, yeah, they have a hitbox, like, five times taller than the normal ground spikes. It's like, if you place one down, like, you know for the normal, like, jagged ground spikes things or whatever, you can slide on them as the wave? Well, with the bushes, or thorn bushes, or whatever you want to call them, it's liter it literally takes up half a block. Like, when you're placing that down, you are placing down half a block of just something that kills you. It's insane. So, you can, uh, you can straight fly through the normal ground spikes in a normal sized ship, but you can't straight fly through it in a, in the thorn bushes in a normal sized ship. Because it just, I think it's like less than a half a block of space it leaves you. Dude, bushes are just a meme. Bushes are the best kind of obstacle. <laughs> they get... Ev they're Like, if you put that at, in a wave section, or whatever, you could just be cruising along, and you do, like, a tap slightly off, so you're kind of close to the edge, but, like, obviously you're not going to die. And then you run into a bush, and it just kills you. It's... <laughs> It's like angering, but if you want that to be the point of your level, it is quite funny. Alright, I just did 40 something to 100. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Hello, Andre GD. Now I can't pass the 14 wave. Yeah, I still haven't connected two runs on this level. Because I'm just not dealing with the middle part of this level. It's so hard. Just filled with slow mini ships straight by. That's pretty much it. There we go. Oh, and then I died there. Wow. 
make awakening orus, but every ship part is a curved straight fly. What, like like the first ship in awakening orus, so every ship part is just curved. That seems ter dude curved ship parts like that. I just think generally aren't that good to play. I don't know, man. Especially if it's like one block wide. I would much rather just hold on a black orb in the ship than do whatever that is. I left the Discord call with Still You at a. I don't know how. I didn't touch my phone, but apparently that happened. Yeah, and, and then I tapped that one early, and then I, I do the thing, and I die at the. Um. Hi, I'm back. I don't know what happened. It just kicked me out of the call. Yeah, I noticed that. That was weird. I, I was literally, like, at 20% on this level and just kicked me out. Yeah. Alright, while I'm on to... What, what was I tagged in TSC for? GG Ludwig applied to be in TSC. Oh, he has five down votes and no up votes. Dang. There are so many people that apply to get into TSC. Like, I'm talking like three a day, it's crazy. Yeah, I have no idea how the team became that popular, but I guess it did. Okay, that, that one spike there, I have a problem with that one spike. If that one spike was a person, I would box that spike. And I would win. Because this spike is stupid. And it's a wuss. Let me, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you this spike. I guarantee you that this spike is going to have some sort of hitbox that makes it way bigger than what's visible. Or this is like... A fixed hitbox spike to some extent because it's like the small spike. Let, let me see here. It is, yeah, of course it's the small spike, but of course you had to do that. God dang it. Oh, your stream just ended. My stream just ended? What do you mean my stream yeah. just ended? No, just... My stream just ended. No, I'm watching it right now. What the heck? It just kicked me out for some reason. Huh. That is odd. Or what else? Uh, this this spike. There's a spike around here somewhere. It's a mischievous spike. I don't like this one. It screws you over. Like okay, you see here. That's a that's a big that's a big gap for the ship. If I do say so myself. And you're a mini ship. How many uh how many grid spaces is that? That's like. 
two. That's like over one and a half, right? But you come here, turn preview mode off. No, 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 no. For some reason, that's way bigger because the layout was kept in here or something. So this is invisible. This, uh, this is how it's supposed to be. But you got these little invisible spikes here. They're like a whole half block ahead. So it just makes it harder. God knows why that it, that exists, but it does. And they, it just has to make my life harder. It just has to make my life harder. Yeah, apparently the live stream ended for a few people. Yeah, it did, it, it did the same thing after me. But really? Like That's weird. I feel like it might be kicking people out right now. It's so weird. Like, you're down to two people watching. I yeah. It's happening for I was from seven down to two. No, my internet's fine, because I'm not, a. Uh, usually when I stop streaming, it's, it, something pops up on my screen that's like, hey, uh, your internet's bad, so we had to stop streaming, or something, but I'm not getting any of that. It's not restarting on YouTube for me, so it's probably just YouTube being stupid. I mean, YouTube is always stupid when it comes to this stuff anyways. goal for this stream is to get past 33, even though I've been playing for like, maybe 45 minutes already on the stream and haven't gotten past 33. Like, man. Well, yeah, it's like a minute and a half, but just learning this level and getting consistent at it is also really hard. Like, it's going to take me a while to gradually ins up my average percentage, or whatever, every time. Oh, uh, so I'm down to one person watching now. <laughs> YouTube's so stupid, man. I've had, like... I've had it say one person's watching, and there's, like, six in the chat. And then I've had it say, like, 12 people are watching, and nobody's talked for the past five minutes. It's... I just don't trust that number. sure maybe it shouldn't be that high and they just have beaten a lot of skill based levels and they are not used to how long it takes to learn something like that because Yeah, a generous downgrade from like what is it like 110 on the list right now or something? I feel like this is gonna become like an essentia situation where it's really overrated. It's definitely harder than black. 
Yeah. Well, on the mobile list, I think it's like four or five right now. Oh yeah, it's five. Uh, Black Blizzard's four. That was a bad Blizzard. Yeah. yeah. Then friggin' stupid Annihilation Nation is three because random idiot beat that for some unknown reason. God knows why. And then wait, where's where's Annihilation Nation on Pointer Crate? It's off the list. What? What? Jeez. How is it? What? Man, how is it three on the mobile list, but not even on the player crate list? That's crazy. I mean, the hardest parts are, like, that really slow wave in the middle, and the, uh, the ship at the end. But, like, I would think those are still very much list-worthy on, like, whatever 144 or 240 now. Maybe it's all list, but it's very low. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every other top 20 on the mobile list is on the Pointer Crate list. But Annihilation Nation being that low just feels so out of place. Below, Ar dude, Aurora is like very quite low on the mobile list compared to that placement. I mean, isn't Aurora really sixty hertz friendly? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. When most of the top 50 used to be quite good levels. I mean, okay, most of the top 50 now I wouldn't say is bad, but... So, man, I gotta get, like, far for once. I'm really lacking behind right now. What was that? You got 56. Cooper, stop flexing on me. I am obviously having a rough time here. Take my feelings into consideration. Stupid. I keep dying there. I don't, I have no idea why I am doing not good at all right now. All I wanted was to get past 33%.
because uh, earlier today I got past 33% like twice within 10 minutes. And I've been streaming for an hour or something now. I haven't gotten there once. How do I die there? Oh my lord. I'm gonna throw a t tantrum or something. I like how I say or something. It really adds to show how angry I am. Yeah, I. Ooh. I'm not liking 8% right now. I'm also not liking how it takes 30 seconds to get to 8%. I keep dying at 8%. If I die though, this attempt, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I got to 9%. Oh. I don't even know why I exited the level. I'm not gonna go back and like, <laughs> practice. Yeah, I could practice some of these parts, but like, they're in the first 20%, come on. How are you doing this on mobile? What? Do you mean, how am I getting like, progress on it on mobile, or how am I running the level in full detail on mobile? <laughs> yeah, this level's like 380,000 objects or something. It's like a lot. Yeah. But stuff like, uh, stuff like Dream Travel, which I beat, which was like seven and a half minutes, was like 250,000 objects. So, it definitely could have been less. It's a lot of objects to still be packed in this time frame. Yeah, that's like the absolute maximum objects you have on Yeah, I'm pretty sure above... 400,000, it starts getting problems. Well, I guess both. Ah. Uh, well, uh, thanks, I guess. Or you, I should be saying thank you to my iPad. I can somehow run this. But yeah, uh, people were actually uh, opening this level. And because the level is so long and has so many objects, they already got, like, blank screens. And were able to, like, complete the level. So I'm pretty sure after 350,000 is when you start getting problems. Yeah. But you have to have a pretty bad device to get that. Just gives you a blank level to complete it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stupid. Ah, yeah. oh, that's so hard. <laughs> I got to the part that has 33% in it, though. So, I'm, I'm close again. 
Yeah, Cooper's gotten to the 50s like three times in the time I started streaming. I've. Uh. I'm just gonna blame it on a. Uh, my iPad lagging because I'm streaming, even though my iPad isn't lagging at all. This. Yes, I agree. Come on, 30 again? That's, that's quite a hard part, but I shouldn't be dying there as much as I am right now. Oh, I exited the call again? How? Bro, what? I got kicked out again. Uh, yada yada yada. Yeah, it feels so weird to play a level like this, though, because since I've been playing from zero for, like, an hour now or something, once I get to the second half, if I do, it's gonna... I haven't played that part for, like, so long, and I'm gonna be nervous that I, like, forgot it or something. Even though I know I won't forget it, it it's still, like, weird thinking about... I haven't played that part in so long, what if I'm unprepared for it? There's a lot of parts to remember in this level. Oh, come on, I didn't hit the bottom there. That's like 31 again, again. I am getting there, though. Which is pretty nifty. I do that so often, what the hell? I really want to beat it the attempt I do that. Uh, there's this part in the level where it's a three times speed mini wave, and you gotta go through like horizontally placed gravity portals. Hmm? 
Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Except, what it is, is at 19%, you go up, well, okay. You have to tap three times, and one after another, there's a yellow portal, and then a, uh, blue portal, where you also have to tap to go the other way in. And it's possible that you can go under the blue portal before hitting it, and then hold, and then go into the blue portal after you hold. And I keep doing that somehow. It's like near pixel perfect, but I somehow do that so often. Like almost half the time I get there. Three percent orb really get me. chat froze again. People have been talking for three minutes and I didn't even read their messages because the chat was frozen. Thank you, YouTube. You're really treating my stream nicely this time. Friggin' don't die at my part ever. Oh, you made a part in this? I don't know what part you have. Uh, Arf. And I want a Snickers bar now. Snickers? Yeah, Snickers sounds good right now. Yeah, Snickers are good. Just like in general. I should make like a candy bar tier list or something. Those, those get a lot of views, right? Fantastic. Oh, you made the you made the friggin' straight fly at 38? Come on, dude. Come on. That's like Oh, I did that perfectly. Also come on dude, I died there so many times. Yeah, I won't stay up too late, Mom. I'm fine. <sighs> Look what happened. <laughs> Did you die? Yeah, I died. I ship it like 37 and cube timings. Yeah, you have like the shortest part in this level, like... Yeah, what do you say? It's like four seconds, you aren't joking. You have, why do you have such a short part? Yeah, but that ship is hard. I don't know if you made that ship, like the gameplay for it, but that ship is impossible. And I will now hate you for it eternally. I'm just kidding, but that ship is hard. Needed filler, I don't know. <laughs> is Arrow going to be on the mobile list if it gets rated? I don't know, dude. It won't ever get rated. It's an unofficial EXO sequel, with a Not On Newgrounds song. That's like a 9 out of 9 chance it won't get rated. 
the, uh, I mean, granted, it's a little more than a layout. It has some creative deco parts, but it's still, it's like, an unofficial EXO sequel. If it's an unofficial EXO sequel, it's unrateable. It's, it's unrateable, yeah. If it was uploaded by the crazy man himself, though, instant rate. Oh, yeah, of course. Of and course. Yeah. Yeah, no, dude, okay, you didn't make the gameplay for the ship, but it's not because it's a, the transition's bad, it's, it's be, <laughs> it's because it's a straight fly, and I hate straight flies, that's it, that is the only reasoning for it, the transition into it is kinda fine, there's nothing wrong with the gameplay except for the fact that it's a straight fly. I don't know if straight fly is fun, uh, alright, I will have to respectfully disagree with you on that and then ask you to leave. Just kidding, I, I really don't care, but straight fly is the least fun thing in existence for me. What is that? Yeah, all my homies on mobile say Straight Fly sucks. I feel like Straight Fly immediately becomes fun if you get 244. No, 200. Yeah, 240 hertz and then bypass it. Yeah, 244. If you get 240 hertz and then bypass it to 600 FPS, then Straight Fly would be fun. Oh, come on. Yeah, but I guarantee you, Arth, the first time I get past that, that nice, crisp 33% will be the time I die at your part in the straight fly. I, I probably guarantee you that. I think I've died there like three times already. I've gotten past it three times too. It's like a 50-50 chance. And I can't really get consistent at it because it's straight fly. There's not like a click pattern for it. One forty four, two forty, and three hundred hertz feel the same. I mean, I would think one forty four would be a pretty big difference from three hundred. Because one forty four hertz players are genuine are generally quite a lot better when they switch to two forty. Actually, if you say the difference from 60 to 144 feels like a lot, shouldn't the difference from 144 to 300 feel like a lot? Because that's both, like, around the same distance. It's both, like, double and some.
Also, what do you mean you might go for this level because it looks easy? What? I mean, sure, go ahead, go for the level, but it's not very easy. Just saying, I've been playing this level for, yeah, over an hour now, and I haven't gotten past 31%. I am very sad, but I'm accepting the struggle because it's hard. Pretty much every orb in this level is a timing, which is kind of insane. Uh, I think Golden did. Of course I died there. <laughs> yeah, but uh... What was it? Yeah, it's harder than Void Wave and Kadrega Mode, according to everybody else that's going for it right now on mobile. Which would be like... 80 or something on Point of Crit. Yeah, but granted, there's a lot of... There's a few hard ships in this level, and there aren't really hard ships in Void Wave or Kadrega mode. Bro, 31% is good. I couldn't get that far on an extreme in an hour. Well, you gotta keep in mind, it's in an hour of me after, like, play, of playing it after I had learned the entire level. It isn't just in an hour. I learned the entire level and got 31%. This is, I've spent, like, way too many attempts on this level right now. That was expected, though, because it's really hard compared to Glacial Torrent. I thought spending close to 8,000 on Cosmo Rush 21 was a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if I already had 8,000 on this, and I only have 54. Also, 54 is like, uh, it's, it's a hardship. Basically, if you're questioning what my new best is, it's probably a hardship. Wait, what part? Oh yeah, Michigan's part. Yeah, that just seems bad. I mean, it looks good. Like, deco-wise, gameplay-wise, it doesn't look fun at all. No, I thought it looked pretty cool.
There we go. All right. Ah, uh, 45. Oh, that's pretty close to your best. Yeah. You know, uh, actually, it's like 30 seconds away from my best. Percent-wise. Percent-wise, yeah. Disentombed harder than un... Dude, disentombed is so much harder than unearthed, man. Well, okay, calm down. Just calm down, still you with us. Anyways, hello, Gochu Jang. Gochu Jang, I love you. You're like you you are literally God. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah. But forty five percent's good. I'm surprised I didn't die at this. I like how this is the only part you can see of it. <laughs> at this part. that That's hard. Yeah, that is very much less than one block straight fly. But, uh... What I wanted to do is put some start positions here. Bada bing, bada bam. And just practice this. Yeah, 45's nice, though. I, I, I like that. It's a pretty hard straight fly part, so I'm not mad that I died there. I'm just glad that I actually got far after a while. I feel like I'm gonna do that by accident. Ooh, nice. Wait, is 54 in Nazgub? Oh. Because if you died at the easiest part, I was gonna say, like, huh. Really? I, well, the only part in Nazgub I think is hard is that, uh, one ship gap. Such a hard part. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna say nah. Just go along with it. I, I now have one viewer in my stream. Did it like restart or something? I ha I have zero viewers in my stream. 
I have zero viewers, but it's working completely fine for me. Yeah, it still says zero people in the stream chat. Amazing. Yeah, whatever. But wait, but I'm watching and aren't you, don't you have it open in like a separate tab or something? Like... Getting places. I really hate abstract. It's just so fucking terrible. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, how do I have zero viewers if you're watching and I'm watching and there's. I love that too. Something about the place. I forgot to put it back up. Yeah, you're fine. On the Clash of Clans grind now. Yeah, I could imagine bowlers are overpowered. What are some possible contenders of the top one mobile demon? Alright, before I answer that question, I would like to respond to your question with another question. Why do people say top one? It gets on my nerves so much. Top yeah, infers that there are more than one that you're talking about, but you just say top one. Like, there's multiple levels in the one? I'm so I'm so confused. Just say number one. It's, everybody says it, and I hate it so much, and I don't care if you call me, like, a grammar Nazi for no reason. It I don't know who coined the term top one. It doesn't make any sense at all. I feel like people, people say general stuff like top 50, top 30, that's fine. You get to like top 10, say what you think. Like you're getting to a point where it's too narrow to really even need to use it anymore. Not even, people not even. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. But I just find it really stupid when they say top one. Yeah, that's just that's just taking it to one. But uh, other than that, uh, I would say probably. Artificial Ascent, because Cooper is going for that, and he has 81. Uh, Cooper, Thunder, and Hilo all said it's harder than Bloodbath. So I'm gonna trust him on that. I mean, isn't Artificial Ascent quite a lot higher than Bloodbath on Pointer Crit? Well, Celestial Force has, like, no, like, barely any straight fly, though. I mean, Artificial Sense is not either. Yeah, but it has a few parts. Like, a few well, hardship sections. Like, uh, yeah. But, so, probably Artificial Ascent. Uh, Digital Descent, Thunder has, like, 73 on yeah. Uh, 
Aonsi, or Random Idiot, still has like 72 on Coeretta or something, which would definitely be number one. He hasn't made progress on that. Yeah, he hasn't made progress on that in a while, though. And then... Some guy called Zoink Doink, which is the best name of all time, may I just say. I forget, Zoink Doink. That sounds amazing. But he has like 59 on Sunset Sandstorm, which would be number one. So he's, he's kind of going on that. Oh, yeah, friggin' Flav... Flaviola got, like, 62 on Erebus. That is... I don't understand. That one is entirely straight Yeah, I know. Flaviola is just really good. Yeah, because Flaviola said Aftermath was, like, not top 10 worthy on mobile, and he said it should be, like, 30. So I think he's just good at ship. And then... Lastly, uh, he said that Aftermath on the mobile list shouldn't be top 10, and it should be, like, 30. Because he's just good at ship. But other than that, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure that's it, unless I'm missing something. There's, there's one more, but I forget what it is. Oh, yeah. Pig Sheffer has, like, 50-something on EXO. The yeah, EXO is quite stupid. Also, hello, uh, I just, Zosimov. Really from Legacy, I'll be honest. Huh. I don't know, it's just... Even though he could get literally anything from me, I never thought that he took advantage of that until he released really Yeah. Yeah. Also, what... Where did PPF come from? VR, is that Visible Ray? Cognition, Zodiac, Aronia. Who is going for these on mobile? Who is going for Zodiac on mobile? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is anybody going for Cognition on mobile? Zodiac also, on mobile? Yeah, well, yeah, nobody even... Aronia is, like, the most forgotten level up oh. there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that it's good, but it's just... It's... It's just... It might as well not even exist. Yeah, there is nothing special about Aronia. It's a good level, but it doesn't stand out. It's just, like... Imagine taking... A normal 2.1 mega collab, except making it really hard for no reason. Yeah, that's that's literally what really it is. And I honestly just really want to dislike it, but I can't. Huh. <laughs> yeah, th this level is so good. Also, I don't know, Sunset Sandstorm on mobile is crazy as awesome. Off. There's some guy who beat Hilo's world record on PPF. Isn't that like 51 or something? I actually, uh, was able, when I was doing my spots in Italy, I was able to get back to my record in a day. Dang. So if I kept going, I could have probably made it into the 60s. Uh. But yeah, I stopped after I got my record again. And I saw it going back to my spots. The thing is, isn't Plasma Pulse finale, like, pretty mobile-friendly except for the two ship parts? Yeah. Yeah, that first ship part got me so much on Plasma Pulse finale. It's literally just when like... Got, yeah, it's just a one-block straight fly. Just, Also, yeah, I don't know why I can't... Well, I do know why I can't get to the drop from 10% before it, because this level's hard. And this part's the hardest part of the level, it's so stupid. 
Okay, there we go. I finally got to the drop once. Let me watch me die at the first tap. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I died to a bug transition. Let's go. Yep, that's uh, that's all I'm doing there. Everything past 60%, which is the second drop. So I don't even think I need to practice any anymore. It's just a matter of getting past 59. You think you have the mobile world record of Aronia? Huh. What is it like? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the mobile world record for Aronia is like 10%. Because nobody knows it exists. 36, dang. That's pr yeah, that's pretty dang good for a top 20 on mobile. Or just a top... T to be more specific, a top 20 to 15. I don't know what place exactly it is, but I know it's high. Yeah, it's right about this one right here. Huh. I hate that. That's such a weird. It's just that is such a weird. I'm just gonna leave it there. It's like imagine uh just a straight fly in the ship or something. Except it's not a straight fly. There's like three blocks of space. But for some reason, the person who made the part decided to, like, do that thing where there's invisible ship portals everywhere, so if you go up, the camera also moves up. So, like, it's that, except for a three-block space, and it is very unnecessary, and it throws me off all the time. God dang it. Oh, hello, Budgie. Budgie, I love you. Have my children. How are you doing on this race? I don't know if you're grinding the level now. Don't your parents also do that thing where they're like, Hey, it's a... Uh, it's 11 p.m. It's bedtime. Time to go. Come on, chop chop. <laughs> I just realized it is 11:45, and neither of my parents have done that to me yet. That's a. That's like. That's like a new world record. Uh, my mom came in and said a. Uh, said something. I forget what she said, but it wasn't go to bed. All right, goodbye, Zosimov. Even though you used M8 in 2020 to spell out mate. Yeah, Budgie, have you gotten past a 33 again? I've only gotten past it one time this entire stream. And Cooper's gotten past it like so many times, I swear.
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I entered that so weirdly. I expected to die there. Yo, buddy, you got 23 to 100 on audio expulsion? Sheesh. That's, that would be like around five on the mobile list or something. That's pretty nice. What the heck? I think it would be that high. I have no idea. Thomas from the Switch Stop beat audio expulsion. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. How are you doing? How? No, actually, how's the wisdom teeth thing going? I'm getting my wisdom teeth out soon. Maybe I think I I, I really have no idea. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt when you're actually undergoing getting them taken out, I would imagine. It hurts afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, for context, Switch Stop is my cousin. I'm surprised no- actually, I'm not surprised since there's only, according to YouTube, five people in the stream. But, usually if he comments on my videos, there's always one person like, Yo, Switch Stop, what the heck? Because he has like 80,000 subs. Thomas, you gotta be practicing Geometry Dash so we can beat that, that one easy two-player demon. Friggin' Multition, you know? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, somebody asked, uh, like, my cousin doesn't really actually play GD much, like, at all. I think he beat Club Step or something. That was literally it, and he did that, like, four years ago. And somebody asked him to collab. <laughs> and he, like, hasn't touched the game in years. It's, it's quite funny. Yeah, but Thomas, this one's longer and harder than Glacial Torrent. I don't think you know how much of an impact that has, but you constantly meme on me about not verifying Glacial Torrent yet, even though I did that a year ago. Am I verifying this? No, I'm not verifying this. This is a this is a level that got released like a week ago. And it's kinda really hard. But I'm gonna try to be the first on mobile to beat it.
That is nice. That's good. Ah, 50. Shit. 50. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm glad I'm getting uh, more consistent at it in the later parts of the stream. That's a hardship part, though. So 50, 51, and 54, and then 45 twice. That's a that's a good good set of deaths around there. I should be making it far soon. Or farther than that. Yo, Ben, what the heck? Hello. Or Benodon. We're like, how is it going? Also, is the audio at like actually delayed? I don't think it is. Yeah, the audio is not delayed, alright. So what's good? Uh, I've been just chilling. Honestly, at this point, I'm just waiting for school to start again. Because I'm bored. As heck. <laughs> audio seems fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm just bored. But I'm finding ways... Keep myself busy. For which triple? Oh, Viprin's. Okay, that seems really stupid. That pink orb, don't you have to hit it like really late? So you need to like land on the platform early? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think Viprin's part is the worst looking in Artificial Sun. It's just so bland. Nothing about it is bright like the other parts. I feel like that's the same case with Speed's part. Though Speed's part just looks generally better. I like Michigan's part because it's like actually bright. Doing pretty good. Heading back to college in five days. Oh yeah, back to college. Because you're actually older than me. Yeah. Yeah. My brother, Ben, is also going back to college. Yeah, so have you, I'm talking to Ben here, have, have you been, like, playing GD recently, actually? Because I know you DM'd me about something about the mobile list a little bit back. Because I, I was pretty sure you stopped playing for, like, a solid two years or something.
so close to getting past that. You know what? I'm going to take a little break and take everybody on a journey. Still, you know, I will have to leave you here for now, but I will be back. Alright. Alright, boys. I think, I, I still think it's on. Just beating easier stuff, I might try to grind off some harder stuff. Okay. Taking you all down on a journey. Hold the phone. No, I don't want to take a picture. Come on. see what we got in here. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Hmm. We, we can, like, make something. Oh, yeah. That's the jackpot. That's the jackpot, baby. Just got a giant ball of mozzarella. We got a hold the phone. Hold on. I'm just gonna see what oh I need to get back to YouTube. Twelve AM frig raid, exactly. Uh, what I use to cut cheese? Let's use one of these things. I'm, I'm just eating pure cheese. How do I open this? It says, uh, open and enjoy from this side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. This isn't that hard. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, yeah. I got it. Just a giant ball of mozzarella. This is what I live for. Look at this. Look at, look at that. Look at, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Literally just eat these by themselves. But this is the best cheese of all time. Okay, now my chat is actually going. Thank God it was frozen. Yeah, I'm teaching everybody how to cook. Now, if you actually want to see how to cook, hold up. Where is it? I took a picture of it. All photos. Where is it? Man, I could have sworn I took a picture of this chance. I guess not. God dang it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I did not take a picture of what I was making earlier. But, basically, it was mozzarella, then some... Homegrown tomatoes, and then some basil on there. Just slap it on, put it in layers. Ah, so good. Feeling ballsy, sprinkle some 
a little balsamic vinegar on that. Looks so nice, it's so good. You know what? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna have one more. This stuff's good. This, this stuff is the real, the, the real deal we're talking about here. Mmm. 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 Let's see what else we can have. Why do I have so many cereals? Hmm. Looking nice. Alright, alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You already know. You already know. Alright, hold on. Let me put this away. Slide that shit in there. Whatever, man. Ooh. You know I gotta go for the little bites, dude. Oh yeah, so nice. That is what I'm talking about. That's a that's a good little bite. Hmm. Hmm. Dude, Budgie hasn't had, like, most of the cereals in the world, and it annoys me so much. Hasn't had Captain Crunch, hasn't had Lucky Charms, hasn't had Reese's Pieces, sorry, Reese's Puffs, like, oh my god. That's what I like to say. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put this stuff back. Hello. No. Okay, I'm good. Shove that in there. Okay. I gotta do better than that. Hold on. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Opening the fridge to let it be. Yeah. Oh my lord. You know what we gotta end it up with though? No. No, no, I just want milk. I don't want anything else. There we go.
That's sort of giant dent. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Well, oh yeah. So nice. I love milk. I love glasses of milk. I don't know why. It's just... Mm. Dude, there was like a... There was like a poll in my school. I was like, oh, uh, who likes to drink just milk by itself and who hates to drink milk by itself? And I thought, the only people that hate drinking milk are like vegans or whatever. But, oh my god. Because fucking, there was, like, m the majority of people were like, no, 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 milk sucks. Milk is stupid. God knows why. I don't know why. Milk is amazing. But they're all like, milk sucks. How, how can you have it by itself? It's disgusting. It's inhuman. I'm going to throw a tantrum. It doesn't make sense, man. Milk is awesome. Like, what do you mean? It's so goddamn refreshing. Having it with, like, cookies? You told me that you have cereal with water or something? No, you put milk in there. That's what you're supposed to do. Cereal dry sucks. Man, girls are weird. That's it. Girls are just wacky, that's the moral of the story. at the place with my minion stickers on my computer and my harmonica ready to be played for victory so I'm gonna stream a little bit more of Disentombed before I sleep thank you all for sticking with me on my adventure it was quite fun so right now, I got a tag, but I gotta unmute myself for the thing. Give this man chef. Yo, this, yo, yo, dude, this man's, he makes sick stuff. Okay, I'm giving him chef. There we go. Alright, yeah, that was it. I'm back to the stream now. I'm, ba I'm back to doing what I actually am supposed to do this stream. The harmonica puggy, yeah. Yo, still you, are you still here? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Well, I expected you to, like, leave or something. But no nobody else has joined either. I'm back from my, uh, fridge raid at midnight. I'm sad you didn't look at the stream. I, uh, I was, like, going in there, and I got a big chunk of mozzarella cheese, and I just ate half of it. I mean, mozzarella's, like, good. And then, uh, and I went into the pantry, 
and I had a, I had some little bites because those are also amazing. You don't know what little bites are? They're the they're the little muffins in like chip pack like chip oh, bags okay. or whatever. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I had some of those. Yeah, I I quite literally had a midnight snack. I went down there at like Basically midnight. You don't know how I'm streaming right now? Yeah, uh... How am I still streaming? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, I am still streaming. Tonight has just been a game night. That's what it is. I don't even know how long I've been streaming for, like... Two and a half hours or something? That's quite a long time. I mean, I got nothing else better to do at this time of day, so... I mean, if I wasn't streaming right now, I would have just been playing Disentombed by myself and not streaming, and then went down for a midnight snack and gotten slices of mozzarella, and then came back up. <laughs> Carlo, what? You just got the notification, Carlos? I started streaming two and a half hours ago. Oh my god. Dude, YouTube sucks. I swear, if everybody actually got a notification that wanted one for when my stream started, I guarantee you I would have two times the amount of viewers I have. Yeah, YouTube's bungus. I get a, I get notifications for uh, videos like a whole week after they're published, and I've already watched them. <laughs> yeah, it, like it's so confusing. Why? And that that can't be like a bug either or something well it could be a bug okay still you apparently uh carlos just joined the stream now because he just got the notification that i was streaming just now got it after two and a half hours I'm so confused how YouTube doesn't send it out until that long after. Yeah, that, I don't get it. Exactly. It's like, a have been getting notifications for, yeah, I've been getting notifications for videos that have been out for a week already, and I have already watched the video. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even. No, I have all notifications turned off. It's just in the notifications tab in YouTube. It's so crazy. Alright, see you, Cheez Its. I'm probably gonna stop the stream in a second, anyways. Um, thank you. Yeah, Mi Michigan's part is stupid.
you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna practice the interesting part of this level again. Because, yeah. I'm just gonna stop it when I get a satisfying run. Part of the level is so hard. Now there's only one person in my stream, of course. Even though there's probably like four people, but they just aren't talking. But YouTube doesn't bother to pick them up. That ship is so hard. That's a hard wave. The black flashes in this part really do not help. Just black flashes in ship doesn't work well, especially when it's like, there's no blocks for you to glide on. Yeah, that level seems kind of angering sometimes. It's just, it's really just and it's so terrible. They have to be right next to each other, and they both have to be as annoying as possible. Yeah, Anthrax just seems really poorly designed. What is your current hardest and how does it compare to Disentombed? Uh, glacial Torrent. And Disentombed is just longer and harder than Glacial Torrent. <laughs> I'm sure that's that Yeah. Longer than Glacial Torrent. Yep. But, yeah, this is a good amount harder than Glacial Torrent. Uh, I would have to guess GT would be like 20 to 25 on the current mobile list. And this would be like 8 to 10. And then my current hardest rated demon is Novalis, which is like 32 or something now, which is insane because it used to be number one for a while.
Yeah, Plasma Pulse 3 is like 17 or something now. It's pretty dang hard still. I, I know it's pretty dang high. It, it might be. I don't even know my own list. I, I hate this. Is Plasma Pulse Finale 24 on Pointer Crit? Uh, it, I, it's like 21, I think. Ah. Uh, dude, dude, I remember, uh, friggin' Sagacious took that quiz that was like, what are the top 10 demons? Oh, yeah, that was... Got him like... All wrong. I don't even know what the top ten demons are. Like, if I had to guess, and don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. I know you can name them in order, but um, pointer crate. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this. Well, not really for the top five. Number one is the golden. Then two is Tartarus. Then three is Zodiac. Then I think four is Kinos. Five is maybe Crimson Planet. Six is Calculator Core. Maybe. Seven. I know Cognition's up there. I think Bloodlust is like eight or nine now. So. You got it, the whole top five, right? But you started to miss it. Okay, so five is Crimson Plant. So six is Renovant? Okay, Renovant, six. Seven, okay. I feel like seven would be Calculator Core. God damn it. Ugh. Then, Cognition? Seven's Cognition. Eight. Is calculator core. God damn it. Eight is bloodlust then. No, eight is the key space. Oh, I forgot that monstrosity of a level exists. No one likes to remember to exist. Then nine is bloodlust and ten is calc core. Yeah. Dang. And then, God, no, I don't even know what eleven is, like Coretto or something. It's that low already? Sheesh. Yeah, anyway, is a. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna have to say that is the end of my stream. There's one person watching. I don't think anybody's interested anymore. <laughs> so, goodbye, all the lovely one people that are watching. This is probably my longest stream yet. I will see you all tomorrow, or today, technically. Oh god.